Oh, hello, sup fam? It's Richie from Social Reclusive here, coming at you 2020. Do you like the new place? It's it's real fancy, right? It's real uh, it's real purple. Uh, my hair is purple. My chair, but. Uh, my chair is purple. Did you see the chair? My chair is purple now. Social chair is purple. What a time to be alive. Did you miss me? Be honest. Did did you did you miss me? Nope. Yeah. After all this time, I I figured you'd have like a like a high pitched voice like. Oh, I'm in store. Big chunk. Big chunk. chunk. I'll tear off your arms and feet them to you. Wait, what? I'm starting to miss Reggie. So, 2020. A nearly symmetrical year. Social repose, social reclusive. I promised I wouldn't do any more drama videos. In fact, I wanted to spend the first half of this year just posting hard to watch art videos and, and music and stuff because I just like making you feel uncomfortable. You can't change what you don't understand. And I can't change all that damage. But then I remembered this is my channel and I could do whatever I want because life isn't linear. Now this whole thing revealed itself a few days ago and it seemed kind of just a run-of-the-mill stupid YouTuber. Not quite scandal level, but just, just shady business as usual for that side of YouTube. The the Jake Pauls and Tana Mojos and uh, you know, that, that. And I saw a couple tweets about this and just kind of shrugged my mothy shoulders and went on my merry way. Until about three hours ago, I saw a tweet from Tana herself which sent me into a tailspin of conspiracy theories and it's leading to this video. So let's very briefly go over exactly what I'm talking about here. Tana Mojo, a creator on this platform, you know who she is, 5 million subscribers, very LA, mean girls personified, very, very Gen Z friendly. I feel like I sound like a boomer every time I say Gen Z, but little do you know, I turn 80 in two weeks, so I, I guess that makes me part of the greatest generation because I'm great. The greatest. So about four days ago, Tana Mojo posted a three minute professionally done commercial advertising her new perfume line called Tana by Tana, of course. Tana by Tana. Tana by Tana? Really? Tana by Tana. That's it. Tana by Tana. It's ironic because she's a narcissist. And all was fine and dandy. The original stock sold out in less than one day. I think it was only a couple hours because of course it was. That is until the tweets and media started to roll in accusing her of lazy packaging and just kind of a, a, a money grab. And of course it's a money grab. Celebrities do it all the time. But the packaging was essentially a glass tiny skull which resembled the $5 perfume is at Hot Topic and many other stores. It, you can just Google it and so many different variations of it pop up. <laughs> Same size, same cap. I know some of them are plastic and Tana's is glass, but some of them are glass as well. And actually, you can go to AliExpress and find them for 30 cents. Thank you to Damon Fizzy for finding that one. You can buy these little skull containers for 30 cents a pop from China, which is most likely what she did because her actual container does not have Tana or Tana by Tana or any, any kind of branding on it. It's just the blank packaging with her supposed perfume in it that, uh, you know, might be hers, and who knows? Maybe the perfume smells really good. Maybe it's top tier stuff and she, she spent years perfecting it. But another take on this situation is that she cobbled it together in a week, had a quick marketing meeting, bought a couple thousand of these from China and just kind of put whatever she could inside of it and sold it for $48 plus shipping, which sold out. 
kind of brilliant. And I've been seeing a lot of her fans defending Tana against this hate and criticism over the cheap packaging or the potentially plagiarized idea. And they do kind of have a point. It's more about what's in the bottle than the bottle itself. As the saying goes, don't judge a book by its cover. Although I'm not sure what's the point of a book cover if you can't judge it. That's the point of the cover, or in this case, a shitty knockoff perfume by Tana Mojo that's $48. And the sad tweet from Tana herself that tipped me off into making this video, she, she tweeted this evening, No, no shade to Hot Topic, but my bottle is not cheap tiny acrylic rollerball sh I love the skull. I made this perfume at a time of my life where that really embodied my brand, me. But it is a super thick glass bottle and metal details. I went through a thousand different bottles. F-O-H. Well, if we get a close-up on the bottle, it, it, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't really look like that. I'm not about to buy it because $50, I mean, come on, man. We, I already bought Belle Delphine's bath water. What do you want from me? But who knows, maybe she did spend years perfecting the scent of this perfume, and that, that would make it worth the price tag alone. But to me, perfume and cologne is a lot like wine. You can go ahead and drink a $300 bottle of wine, or drink a $3 bottle of wine, and if you're not super into wine, it, it doesn't really matter, it just gets you drunk. But you get what I'm trying to say. This is all incredibly subjective, and if the packaging and presentation of this lovely product is any indication of the quality and the person providing it. Remember, this is the same person uh, behind Tanacon, if anyone remembers that. All these people all over the world flew in for this, paid for hotel rooms, and they stand in the heat for four hours and yeah. say it's canceled. Well, it's I canceled. think that's ridiculous. It's not canceled, it's simply being postponed. But there I go again, judging a book by its cover. It's 30 cent Chinese ripoff cover. That's mean. This is the part of the video where I, I, I reflect. I conclude my thoughts and I give an overarching generalized opinion on how YouTubers need to be better and value the intelligence of their fans and, and treat everyone with respect and not just giant money bags. Instead, I, I just, I don't care. I don't, this has been going on for so long. People keep buying it, people are into it, and honestly, pe people people spend their money on dumber shit than this. It, it's a fact. Like, yes, her perfume sold out in a couple hours, but people also spend a ton of money on things like this, or this, or that, or this, or, or that. All, all equally awful things, and uh, you know, I, the, I, I have no place to judge. I spend my money on stupid things too. It's part of being human. It's part of being alive. I'm still just so incredibly baffled that creators still get away with this kind of stuff. It's a joke. I mean, this is why YouTubers are a joke. This platform's a joke. No one gives a shit. Everything sucks. <laughs> Anyway, good good to be back guys. Appreciate ya. I don't know why I do anything in my life anymore, but uh, stream Malevolent. Post a new song, new album, March 22nd. I post a new music video. I'm streaming on Twitch now. I'm gonna be live tonight, assuming I get this video done. Hooray. Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. Yeah, I miss you guys. Stay sad, but not too sad. I'll see you later. Mwah. Do you exude threatening auras? Have you ever thought about smelling like the blood of your vanquished enemies? For the price of $69.99, nice. You can strike fear in the hearts of your enemies with simply smelling this good. Purchase today. Introducing Moth, the brand new fragrance by Social Retardation.